Good morning, Lanier, and welcome back. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of Lanier This Morning. I'm Juan. And I'm Mauricio. We have final information about prom and some important news on sports. So let's get started. Remember, for those attending prom, ID is required and there will be no tickets sold at the door. Students must have a ticket in order to enter. Prom favors will be given at the door. Dessert and refreshments will also be available along with the photo booth for unlimited photos. Lanier Latino Partnership students who are planning on coming to the April 30th fiesta, please turn in your signed forms as soon as possible to Ms. McIntyre or Coach Sepp. Hola, que pasa, amigos? Got a joke for you today. Today is a bad dad jokes with Mr. Grant. Why should you never brush your teeth with your left hand? Because a toothbrush works much better. <laughs> the knee slapper, get it? If you don't, ask a friend. Have a great day. Do you enjoy fishing? If you missed the Fishing Vision Casting Breakfast this morning and are interested in joining the team, please see Coach Nemec in room 822. Trials for the 2022 Lanier Longhorns Fast Pitch Softball Team will be May 3rd, 4th, and 5th. In order to try out, you must have a current physical and completed Rank 1 account. Please see Coach Cromie with any questions. Your Lanier Longhorns League of Legends varsity team has advanced to the second round of the playoffs with the 2-0 victory against North Oconee High School, securing their first win of the tournament on Wednesday. Wish them luck as they represent LHS against the best of the best in Georgia High School esports. That le and that leads us to this week's segment on what it's like being part of the inaugural esports team for Rocket League by Adam Beaumont. Released in 2015, Rocket League is a video game that has been steadily increasing in popularity, and now it's reached Lanier. Boasting 99 million players in September, Rocket League has formed a strong esport community, with professional players being paid upwards of $250,000 a year from tournaments and sponsorships. In its inaugural year, Lanier's Rocket League team is full of players hungry to reach the top of the ladder and to prove that esports is here to stay. It's a very challenging game with a lot of different mechanics to learn and it takes a lot of time and effort to master them and in a lot of ways it's really similar to all the sports you know like football, volleyball, soccer, all that because when you play Rocket League as a sport you're, you're grinding it, you're playing every day trying to get better, practicing. Well people are finding new mechanics and they're using them in the game and the game is like constantly evolving. I think what makes Rocket League competitive is just the amount of play styles there are. There's a play style for everyone. You can be aggressive or you could play a supporting role. There's no one way to play the game. Well, people who wouldn't get involved in other school activities otherwise, they have finally like have a motive to do something and get involved in the school. I think that the thing that is most challenging about being the first Rocket League team at Lanier is that there's no standard. We're setting the standard for any people who want to join the team in the future. With Rocket League growing as a sport here, hopefully with more people getting interested and uh, with that more funding, more people spectating, more people coming out to support us, uh, it should grow a lot soon. High schools should have esports teams to give students opportunities. Opportunities to make new friends. It can give them a platform to show off their skills, to propel them in any future career that they choose. High schools having esports teams is really helpful because there's a lot of really talented students who are maybe not athletic in the traditional sense and they can't or don't participate in sports like football or soccer or whatever but Rocket League and other esports here give them an opportunity to show their talent and skills um, in other ways and it can be just as competitive. Well people who wouldn't get involved in other school activities otherwise 
they have finally like have a motive to do something and get involved in the school. I literally can't see your face right now. <laughs> the lights are so bright. <laughs> The 2022 yearbook has been printed and it's on its way to Lanier. The last day to reserve yourself a copy of this year's yearbook is May 7th. To order your visit yearbookordercenter.com. The code for Lanier is 10711. If you have any questions, see Mr. Phillips in 100B. Captain Gun orders must be placed by 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, April 16th to be picked up during lunch on April 22nd. See the senior class news page on the school website for more information. Are you struggling in your classes? NHS is offering a tutoring in a variety of subjects during academy time on Thursdays at 9.30. Sign up for tutoring using the following link, www.tinyurl.com slash Lanier Tutoring 21. Lanier Senior Decision Day was held yesterday after the senior breakfast. If you aren't able to celebrate, you will be able to view the ceremony on our YouTube channel later today. For those needing assistance with world history, Ms. Lehman has tutoring sessions on Wednesdays until 3 p.m. If you'd like to take part, see her in room 724. All right, welcome back. It's Rachel Quotes. This is from longtime University of Georgia football coach Mark Richt. All right, he, he encouraged his, his guys to finish the drill. All right, it, it's kind of really a life saying here, whether it's your, your homework or your vegetables on a dinner plate, all right? Finish the drill, get it done, you know what you gotta do. And that wraps up this edition of Lanier This Morning. We hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm Juan. And I'm Mauricio. We'll see you next time. Until then, have a great Longhorn Day. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.